All right, I'm told there's a 4K TV I need to check out. I've never been to this fries, so we're gonna take a look right now in case I want to get it on the way home today. Otherwise, nothing venture, nothing gain, right? So it's supposed to be $600 off. Well, bought a TV. <laughs> Fry's had a pretty good deal. $100 off a Sharp 4K 60 inch, which is exactly what I was looking for. Ooh, and I'm sweating, it is hot out. A little worried that it's cocked on its side though. Couldn't get it in my car straight. Huh, we'll see how it is when I get it home. So, just want to point out, Waze got me off of the freeway to take side streets to get back on right after an accident happened. Like it, it got me off the road quickly and it was to avoid that accident and it's a full all four lane stop accident. For as much crap as I give Waze taking me through the ghetto, that just saved me probably half an hour easily uh, trying to get through that four way stop the, pair, the ambulance just there got. That's somebody uh, just there got, <laughs> just got there. Basically all TVs are about software these days. That's like the sound of the old TV, right before it became the old TV. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. He would have been sheriff himself one day, if only. Yeah. And a lot of commonlies laid down their lives for it. I think it looks pretty darn good. Just in case anyone is interested in the model we got, it was a Aquos by Sharp model LC60UE30U. It's a 4K, 6 inches, and we got it through Fry's, who had a sale. It's their Sunday sale, which is active now, and I think it goes through this Saturday. So check out Fry's.com, their local ad, if you are in the area where there is a Fry's because it's a pretty good deal. Hey, what's up guys? At the beginning of the last video, I put out the call for a request for information on buying silver, and I got a lot of really good comments, and I wanted to specifically call out some of them in case some of you all are seeing this for the first time, and you're also looking at silver because it's really, really cheap right now. Maybe you're interested in buying some. So first, wanted to make a shout out to Captain Burrs. He mentioned Atmex, and Atmex is one of the ones that I looked at buying from because they're really inexpensive, at least. Let me put inexpensive in terms. They're price is close to spot. Okay, that's it, all right. Closer to spot. They don't charge a large markup and they actually have silver in stock. Because I found that when you went online, you started looking, they had a price, but they didn't have anything available. 10LS1SS, love your name, bro, is comparesilverprices.com. And that was a good website too. So that, see all of this is about like, you know, just going back to my tool thing, selling tools, buying tools, all that stuff, it's all about ratios. So you wanna buy as cheap as you can and you wanna sell as, as expensive as you can, right? So this is a good time because of how cheap silver is that if you're at all interested, just buy a couple ounces of it and hang on to it. The worst case scenario in a year, two years, three years, five years, maybe, who knows, you'll have a nice little payday and you can use it to buy something special. Hell, even you can use it to buy a gun, maybe it'll be enough money. Oh, also, sorry, Warthog, you also did say atmex.com. Sorry about that. I thought you said Kitco. Somebody else said Kitco. Kitco, I have heard differing things from friends of mine who also buy silver and other things. They, they said they had problems with Kitco, so I didn't really want to mention them, but sorry, Warthog, Captain Burrs, thanks again. I am literally reading a comment by Warthog. I will not read this whole thing, 
but thank you. I am reading what you're saying. I'm, I'm gonna have to take like five, ten minutes and go off and, and, and digest this, but it sounds like, if I'm reading this correctly, that it's possible that paper shares of gold and silver worked on a fractional system, which means that there's only there's only so much of the real money, the, the metal, gold, silver in the market, and they're selling these fractional shares of it as a portion of it or, or a piece of it. And if that's the case, if the sell-off is causing the decline in price, then yeah, it's a correction to get back to the actual precious metal that's on hand. You're probably totally right. If, if, if that's what I understand, I've only read the first paragraph. <laughs> Thanks, Warlock. Sorry about that. Meredith Gold I think I'm pronouncing your name right. He said, typical car truck nylon cargo net works great, and that's in regards to painting the AK-47. And you are totally correct. I'm going to do an update video later, probably this weekend, where I use a combination of the cargo net and a combination of the jute twine that was used by Captain Burrs. So after I did the spray painting, my buddy Jeremy and I went online, and sure enough, Captain Burrs has a really good video posted here for you guys to go check out that covers the whole process in really good detail. So check out his too. I'm gonna do a combination of that and the netting and hopefully get uh, just a different look. I, you know, I don't want it to look like anything else, but you know, that's, that's your own thing. So yeah, I appreciate all the comments, really helps me out. And you know, th that's really the good thing about doing these videos is that you do get a chance to hear from people that are smarter than you and you guys, you've been doing this in your cases for a lot longer than I am in the case of collecting silver or whatnot. But hey, let's do something like this, this Sunday. Post any questions you have for me in the comments comments either on this video or go check me out on Twitter or go check me out on Instagram or go check me out on Facebook. Post any kind of question you want that's been bugging you, radios, prospecting, prepper stuff, gun stuff. Hey, it can even be about engineering. If you just got out of college and you're looking to get into engineering, I'm an engineer, we can talk. So anyway, leave your questions below and I'll see if I can talk to you on Sunday. That'll give me something to... Daddy stuff? Sure, daddy stuff too. That would be great. <laughs> Alright guys. Appreciate all the comments, appreciate the views. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and thanks a lot.